All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Hetland here with the Rodeo Roundup 2013 PBR World Finals with the number 10 man and fan favorite, Joey Marcus. Joey, thanks for stopping by. Hey, thank you for having me on. Appreciate it. Man, what a year you've had. You know, there was um, a lot of talk earlier with some of the antics that that happened earlier. And, uh, you know, but you've turned everything around and, and been a fan favorite. You are pumped up, always smiling. You kind of remind me of a young Cord McCoy. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I think I take that as a compliment. Uh, yeah, it's been a great year so far. I mean, you know, I was called out for kind of being what they call Mr. Excitement. You know, I'm, I'm just Jory Marcus. I'm me. I'm happy to be here. I'm here to have a good time, and I love my job. And, you know, I'm not sure everybody knew how to take it first. I never seen anybody smile and walk away after they got bucked <laughs> off. But, you know, I know how hard I work at this. And if you bucked me off, you either got a bucking son of a gun or I just had a really bad day. That's right. You know, and we talk about the, the Mr. Excitement and the antics. Now, your chaps are a little bit different than most others. Tell us a story about those. Well, you know, I mean, I... I uh, I was approached by one of my friends, and he's like, man, I'd, I'd really like to make you set a chaps ride with this year. And I said, I'm going to give you three keys. I said, I want explosions. I want I want the crowd to be able to look at these chaps, and they're going to say, oh, my God, I've never seen anything like that. And he did that. I've got schools with TNT bombs on them, and it's just pow. And that's what I feel like. You know, I mean, every time I get on a bull, I slide up to my rope, and I'm going to explode at them every second. And so it just suits my personality just right. You know you sure are, and you're exploding on tour, sitting number 10 going into night number one tomorrow night at the Thomas & Mack. The first time inside the Thomas & Mack, what is that feeling? You know, it's great. Uh, uh, it's been a definitely a pat on my own back, just knowing that my dedication and all that hard work I put out this year got me here and into the top 10. And uh, above all, this is just another bull ride. And we've been getting on these bulls all year long, and I plan on doing nothing but dominating. You know, dominating and taking home two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's if you can win every round, and if you win the world championship, it's a million dollar payday. It is. You know, we all want that million dollars, but uh, we're just going to take it one bull at a time. That's right. You know, and speaking of switching gears a little bit, speaking of the world title race, one of the tightest races in the history, the 20-year history of the PBR, Silvano Alves and JB Mooney. What are your predictions? Well, I. Uh you can say I seen it in a dream, but I know for a fact Moody's going to win it. And if I'm wrong, you know he should win it in my world, anyways. He's he is an elite bull rider and athlete, guaranteed. He doesn't uh, he isn't soft about anything. He goes to tame the beast, and he does. And uh, I'm, in my mind, that's why he's a cowboy, is because he does what everybody else can't do. You know, definitely. And it's so many things happen in here. How do you keep focused on each night's performance with so many ways that you're being pulled and, and twisted and, and having to go here, having to go there? When do you get time to relax yourself? Well, I didn't know we got time to relax. You know, I mean, I thought this was finals, and that was the rush of it. I mean, this is what we've all been waiting for and working at all year. You know, all the PR and the opportunities to talk to everybody is a – I mean, it's great and as much as it takes our mind off of bull riding. We're talking about bull riding, and that's what I love to do. So whether we were here or, you know, at a restaurant having a bite to eat, we'd probably be talking about the same thing. That's right. And, you know, speaking of finals, most of the guys in the PBR here – take a week and week and a half off to relax and get healthy before the world finals but uh that's not jory marcus's style not at all what happened this uh last week here well uh i went to the canadian finals right after our last our built for tough event in hollywood i ended up placing third there my whole idea is just because this year's an ending doesn't mean i can't get a head jump start on next year i mean i plan on being a world champion but legend is what i'm here for you know, and a legend that you are becoming early in your career, and we wish you the best of luck. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Jason Hetland with TheForTheRide.com and the Rodeo Roundup with the one and only Jory Marcus.